Today I'm going to show you how to test for grade D breathing air using the colorimetric test method. And a colorimetric test kit will be different depending on the manufacturer uh, you purchase it from, but the procedure will be essentially the same. So in the test kit I have today, I've got a regulator. You use the regulator uh, to make sure that you've got the proper airflow going to the colorimetric tube. And you'll have a different colorimetric tube for each of the contaminants that you're going to monitor. So one for carbon monoxide, one for carbon dioxide, one for oxygen, and then one for oil mist. The colorimetric tubes themselves um, look like this. They've got a reagent on the inside, and you uh, hook it up to the, the supplied air. And when the contaminant hits the reagent, there's a color change. So for this particular example, uh, a new tube starts out yellow, and the color change is to a bluish green, and there are markings on the, on the color metric tube to indicate the level of that contaminant in the breathing air. So you'll read the level, and that's what you'll mark down for your concentration of contaminant. So to use the color metric test method, you'll actually take the, take the tube and break both ends off the tube, And then you'll notice the tube has an arrow on it that indicates the direction of airflow. So I'll hook the tube up to my uh, supplied air. I'll connect the regulator to the end of my supplied air hose. You can also just hook the regulator um, up to the quick connect here at my filter and regulator panel. Um, then I'll take the tube and connect it. And you can adjust the airflow. Make sure you got the proper air going to the tube. And then you want to check the instructions that come along with each tube, because the testing time for each tube is going to be different. It ranges from about 30 seconds up to maybe 30 minutes, depending on the tube itself. And then when you've met that testing time, you pull out the tube. And you can read to see if you've got a color change. So this particular tube, I'm testing for carbon dioxide. The initial color is purple. And I read on my user instructions, the color change is to a light pink. So I'll look and see if I have any uh, light pink color change for this one. And I don't. So I'm going to record then the results of each of these um, different contaminants and the date that I did the testing to make sure I have documentation of my uh, grade, D, uh, grade D air test. And that's how you test for grade D breathing air using the color metric test method.